Okay, here we are. Welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today we're going to be doing my first attempt at a code video. I have been really into the umbrella designs and I wanted to show you guys a couple. Um, I've seen a couple people do this on here. I know I watched Tiger's video most recently, but I think Kato made one too. And I just wanted to give credit, you know, a couple other accounts have made these, but I tried to pick new ones, ones that I hadn't seen everybody look at. There's a couple of my favorites that seem to be really popular too, but I'm really excited and I hope you guys like it. So my plan is to go to different spots on the island and show you them, and I figured this was a good place to start since quite a few of mine are kind of farm related or like apple orchard kind of those kind of vibes like they'll they'll fit in with a farm so I thought my little farmers market it's got different stalls and my pumpkin patch is right here I thought this was like a nice place to start and I'll just go ahead and let you guys know every code I don't have pictures of the the creator codes on the screen but everything's gonna be linked down in the description box so just give that a look if there's anything you you'd like to download for your own island I know for a fact there's a couple of these that I'm gonna keep because they're really 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 good <laughs> Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I have so many for us to look at today, and I think, like I said, I'm gonna just drop a couple down and then we can look at them together. Okay, so here I am just putting up a couple of my favorite crates um, for the farmer's market area. This one, I love this apple one. I've seen a lot of people using it. I think it's beautiful and so realistic. I'm actually going to push it into place where I know that I want to keep it right now just to show you guys how good it looks. Look at that! It's so cute! Oh my gosh, I just the talent it took to make these. It's so cool to me. It, I heard somebody say that it's like we got all these new items, and I couldn't agree more. Like, there's so many new possibilities now. And then down here, this creator, I'm actually going to be using, let me put the last one down. They made like a series of similar colored ones, and I was really excited about the strawberry one. Whoop, wrong way particularly because I'm going to be making a strawberry patch so I think that is going to look so good. I love the mushroom one for fall and then I really liked the empty one too because it's nice to just have next to them as a little added something. So all right let's do our next round of codes. Okay so now I've got a couple different variations on the flower baskets to show you. So this one right here in front of me is a literal basket. Like I hope you guys can see that little handle that it's got. I thought this one was so unique. I haven't seen anybody else do a basket shape and I just love it. I think it's so sweet looking. And then I have a couple of these. These I'm going to be building um, I think over where Olive lives. I'm going to be making a specific like flower um, selling stall for her for springtime. So this creator right here, these are from the same person and I just, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the way these look. Let's do one more just because they're so pretty. Maybe the roses. Oh, the colors that they used. They're just so pretty. I think these are gorgeous. I've seen a lot of people using these ones specifically. This creator did pretty much every flower in the game and then a couple like extra ones. Like I don't think these ones are a flower that we have in the game, but they made them and then I think they're really, really pretty. And then this one, like I said, is a different creator. And I believe I have a couple more flower options. So let's pull them out and look at some more. So I decided for this next one, it's a white flower basket, which again, I haven't seen very many people use. Um, so I decided to come up here, we're going to move Olive's normal um, flower, flower stall that she has, and I'm going to pop a couple of these down. And these are from a, a couple different creators, but I think they're so pretty. Oop, wrong button, sorry, sorry so pretty like if you have a fairy core island i feel like these especially so this one right here um they had several different versions of this um design but with like different colored flowers and then these guys over here also had different flowers but like i said these were the white crates and i think if you have a fairy core island these would be so beautiful like let me just let me push this one back a little bit for olive 
Oh, yes. I mean, that's just so cute to me behind her little house. It's so precious. And especially if, you, if you're if you into layering, I feel like this opens up so many options for where you can put things and tucking things in. Like, I also really want to see, conveniently, we're up here by the, by the orchard. I want to see what they look like tucked in amongst... Let's do maybe this really cool, I thought this one was really cool, it's filled with hay. Let's just look at this one real fast. Yeah, like look at that tucked in amongst everything. Oh, it looks so cool. You can even pull it in front of the trees. That's so cool, I love that. So speaking of the hay bale one, let's go to an open patch that I have because guys, I found chickens. <laughs> Let's go look at the chickens. <laughs> I think this little spot is perfect to show you guys the animal ones that I found. So this goose one I think is so silly, but I've seen a couple people talk about it. It was probably the first animal one that I found. And it's not, it's not as realistic, but I think it's really cute. And again, I think if you had it tucked in amongst stuff, it would look really, really good. And it's just silly. It reminds me of the goose game. This person had a yard littered with cows, and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. And it made me wonder if there were other animals that people had made. And sure enough, again, I'm not on the right colored grass for this. I'll take you guys over to the beach to look at it. But look at this little chicken! <laughs> I'm obsessed! I think it's so cute! Oh, and they had, um, so they have this brown chicken here, and then they had, like, a white chicken too. And I just, I can't. It's so cute. <laughs> And then I also found, speaking of other little animals, there's this adorable, for anybody that loves Pokemon, somebody made a Pikachu crate! <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this one on my island, but I think it's so freaking cute. I love Pokemon, I love Pikachu, and his little red cheeks poking out, like, oh, so cute, guys, I love it. All right, I've brought us back up to the marketplace because I want to look at just a couple more um, of the markety farm ones that I found. I found some really, really cute ones. So there's this one here that I think is actually meant to go like in your house. It looks like they went for like an iron and woven kind of vibe. And I do think that would look really cute if you've got like a kitchen or a cafe. I think that would be adorable. And then this one here, again, I think if you've got, a lot of people are doing the um, like Parisian, European inspired islands, and this one right here has some wine. And this creator did have several different types of wine baskets. So they had like this one that's full, they had one that just had a couple, and I believe they also had like an empty one. So I think these are really cool to add, add a little bit of something to your marketplaces. Oh yeah, I did get this one too. So this this creator that made the um, the vegetable bundle, they also did one that looks like it's got like bread and um, cheese in it. And I just, oh, I'm obsessed. And it also like, if you look at the bottom, the, let's zoom in so you guys can see better. The pastries down here at the bottom look like they have like jelly in them. <laughs> so this one might actually go near Poppy's Cafe because I think that would be really, really cute. All right, these are the last of my like food farm stall crates but I think these are adorable again I love the way this looks I think that's carrots this one in the middle let's zoom in so we can see yeah so I think those are carrots and I'm loving that I think again I'm gonna keep that over near my farmers market stalls I think this milk one is so cute and the little fish I do want to build um like a open air market. I have a boardwalk, but I want to build like a place to eat and buy food down at the beach on the side where my shops are, where the boardwalk used to be. And I think this would be so cool down there, especially the color of the wood. Like these are more natural. They blend in with the trees, but I think this color wood is going to look really, really good down on the beach. Okay. Oh, don't mind the little the little ghosty boy. I had to time travel to June to show you guys everything without the cherry balsam trees. So I brought you guys into my little cozy bathroom and I wanted to show you a couple that I found that look like they're going to be really great for interiors, specifically like your laundry room, your bathroom. I think they're really cute. Let's turn this one around. Look at it first. Oh, grip it. There we go. 
Oh, yes, look at that. It's so cute. So that one is like a little laundry basket with sheets folded up on it. That just looks so good in here. I know there's a lot of people that think it's kind of weird to have the umbrellas, but I just feel like, especially if you like taking pictures and you like playing with perspective, some of them are really, really good and they add a lot of special touch to your island without you having to like spend any bells. You know, the fact that we can get these items for free is really, really great, I think. And I have one more, I believe, from the same creator. Oh, I have two more for the laundry room. Yeah, the next one is probably my favorite, the one I'm going to keep. But this one I thought was really cute. It's like folded up clothes. And I believe she had two different color variations for this. I want to say there was like a blue color and this one, but this one was my favorite since I have kind of a cottagecore aesthetic in here. And let's look at my favorite one. And this one I know for sure comes in a couple different colors. And again, I just picked this one because I thought it would match the best. Uh, but it is a laundry basket. That to me just looks so cool. I love it. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave that in here. What was the thing that I took out? Yeah, my ironing board. Um, I don't know. I kind of really like the laundry basket. I think we're just going to go ahead and put the ironing board in storage and leave that one in here because I think that one's really cute. Let's go up to my bedroom because I think I have some some cute ones I could show you guys up there. Okay, let's pick a spot for this. Maybe right here since this is where I have this displayed. So I got, this one was probably other than the apple one, this was probably the one that I was most excited about. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a cat. I just introduced him the other day, and he's a little orange boy, and look at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Let's zoom on in on his little face. Now, I did see this one specifically. Oh, let me get out of the way. There we go. Yeah, now this one was in Tiger's video, and it was one of the reasons that I wanted to make this because she picked out the one that was like a pink um, house with a black cat in it. And my cat back home is a black cat, but my cat here with my boyfriend is orange. And so I was like, I wonder if they have other colors. And then sure enough, she said in her video, like, they have more colors of this if you guys want to go look at them. And I could not resist. I'm definitely going to keep my little Zacky boy in the house with me. I think he's so sweet. It's so cute. So I'm going to keep him in here. But I do have a couple other... Oh, sorry, wrong button. I do have a couple other like animal ones to show you guys that are indoor. I think I just have the one more, but it's also really cute. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hide these around my island because they're so cute. Oh my god, the little soot sprites. This is probably the one that I got most excited about to find. I found this on one of the discords I'm a part of and I can't get over it. I've always had a thing for soot sprites. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen every Studio Ghibli movie, but my best friend um, really, really enjoys them. And one day we went on like a spree and watched like two or three over a weekend, and the soot sprites were my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm really excited to have this, and again, I am gonna keep it. I might put it in my kitchen if I can fit it. I think that would be really cute to have them like tumbling around in the kitchen somewhere. So I thought right here would be a nice spot to look at a few of the last ones that I have. I saw these again on Discord and I thought they were so cool. And I want to show you them in this part of my forest because this is the this is the um like spooky lucky spooky forest. Oh, those look so cool. Wow. Now, there are a million colors of these, and if you see, like, this, the top of this umbrella has green on it. They also made one, I'll show you guys, they have a variant that has, like, a, um, a dust-colored top. Yeah, which I'm assuming you can pop in front of your, um, like, if you had this one, like, lining, um, a set of cliffs. I think that would look so cool, especially if you did like a multi-tiered situation and had like the gems lining each layer. Oh, that would just look so nice. Let's take this one back over here if we can get around Lucky. Oh, 
Yeah, I think we'll be able to look at it. Hold on, let me grab these things. And I do- oh no, not what I wanted. I do apologize if the, the waterscaping is a little loud. I do have a lot of that around the island. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's so cool. I might leave that there. No, I like the barrel, but I definitely want to put these over here. So I may need to go get the purple version of that for sprinkling around his spooky forest because I love that his house has purple curtains because it means I get to use all the purple items and they match. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think we just have a couple more. So I think we'll go back up to the um, farmer's market area and I'll show you guys the last couple. Alright, we're back up here to look at the last few that I have. Let's scroll through. I'll show you guys these. I said this creator had a million different colors and I was not lying. As you can see, I have this whole section saved and I'm using all of those. Just haven't done it yet. Oh, this one is so cute. And then all oh, the star fragment ones. Yes. I think we looked at those. Yeah, I showed you guys these. So this is what I was saying before. This creator does a white version, and then they have some really nice, like, wood-toned versions, too, of those crates. So I think those are great. And they have a lot of, like, whimsical colors um, that aren't necessarily in the game. So, like, lots of bright blues, lots of bright lilac purples. So again, if you have a fairy court island, I think this creator down here would be really great to check out, or this one over here. Okay, so let's look at this. I love the way the star fragments look. So cute. So you guys saw this creator right here. They have a bunch of different colors. So I'm going to pop that one back up and put down the white version. Yeah, this one's cool too. I think these are so pretty. Oh man. It's a little bright right now for the white one. We'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see them a little better. But I think these are so cool. I have a fairy spot with like a little fairy village and a fairy circle. And I think these would look really good over there. Probably the brown just because I have more earth tones in my island. But again, fairy core people, check out this creator for some white, some pastels. Really pretty. And I included this box specifically because this creator had several different colored woods. And I thought for kid core islands, this would be really, really cool. Um, if you guys watch Froggy Crossing, she just did like a blue and white build for, I think she made, she made like a um, laundry mat and it was blue and white. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that would look so good in her laundry room. So yeah, they had a couple different colors. They were all really bright and fun with like cool patterns and flowers. So I thought those were really great. So kid core, fairy core, cottage core, all in a row. <laughs> Oh my god, guys! I was about to come find a spot to sit down, but I think we'll just sit down next to Bill! Oh my boy! Alright, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found any codes you liked, or if you have any other ones, it's been really hard for everybody to find and compile all of the codes because it's so new. Please leave them down below if you have any that you're really loving and you're using on your island, or if you just think they're cool looking. So, alright, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you're having a great day or a great night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!